This is Devotions from History with Ruthie Obert. William Wilberforce was England's greatest social reformer of the first half of the 19th century. A devout Christian, he took for his goal in life a grand objective, the elimination of the slave trade in England. Because of Wilberforce's understanding of the image of God in man, he believed that man is at his highest when he is most caring, kind, and civil. His efforts to create a more civilized England extended even past his work to free humans from the slave trade. He was also the founder of the Society for the Prevention of the Cruelty to Animals. For 20 years, almost every Parliament session, William Wilberforce stood in the House of Commons to offer a bill to abolish the slave trade. Every year, he was voted down, until 1807, when the House of Commons finally passed the bill outlawing the British slave trade and a speech was given in Wilberforce's honor, and against Parliament protocol, the House stood to its feet in applause for his efforts. But he wasn't done. This act only abolished the slave trade, not slavery itself. That effort took another 26 years, until on this day, July 26 of 1833, the British Parliament voted to emancipate the slaves in the British colonies. News was brought to the ailing Wilberforce that his life's work was complete and he died just three days later. Today, a 50-year struggle sounds unimaginable. Raised on fast food and 30-minute TV programs, we've come to expect and demand quick fixes for everything from a headache to the war on terror. But William Wilberforce knew better. I hope you do too. Whatever God has called you to do, no matter how long it takes or what opposition you face, be like Wilberforce and stay the course. This is Devotions from History with Ruthie Obert. For more info, check out devotionsfromhistory.org.